today I want to show you how I created this October spread for my wonderful planner and I wanted to show you this because this planner officially starts in 2022 however you will find some blank monthly weekly and daily spreads so you can start using the planner right now okay so as you can see this planner starts in 2022 that's the calendar that you are going to have here but let me just show you so I added my monthly page here I dated this myself, I added these labels that say October 2021, I also added a spread for the week and I added my daily pages. You'll get all of this in the download so you can do exactly the same. And I'm going to navigate to my first box index so I'll tap on this part of my spiral and here I have decided to use the left side of this index to have the last spreads of 2021 so as you can see I already have November and December labeled here as well as some goals that I want to set for next year and this white box is where I will add all the spreads for October. So the first thing I'm going to do is open my elements library and I'm just going to drag these boxes onto my index page here so that I can give some color to this white box. So I actually want to have this effect of having two colors so what I do is I stack two boxes one on top of the other. Okay now I just need to add this text box just like I did here with November. So I am going to tap on my text tool and I'm just going to scribble October and now I select my text, I make it a little bigger, I change the font to Mireya, adjust it and now I'm going to turn it a little so it looks like the other labels. So now when I tap on the bottom right corner of the box I will open this blank section and this is where I'm going to add my October spreads which you can access by going to your info page. I'll go to where it says blank month and here I'll choose a color to use in October. As you can see you have several options and you even get the full view months so you can choose whichever works best for you. I am going to use the small month with these colors so I click on my export icon at the top here and then I'm going to tap on where it says export this page. Select image, tap on copy so you have your page copied and now you navigate to where October is going to be. Tap and hold on the screen and paste. Now resize so this covers the whole original page. I will just add a label that says October so again using my text tool I'll create a text box, choose the same font, Mireya, adjust size. Using my Apple Pencil I'll select the text so I can easily resize it and I want to change the color too and I actually want to make another copy and paste it on top and change the color so that I have this shadow effect with two different colors. I create another text box where I write 2021 and then I'll just resize this the same way I did before and here is very important that under your lasso menu you have the option of images turned to off because the monthly page is an image so if you have images turned to on then when you use your lasso tool you will also select the image and it's going to be messy so just make sure to turn that off so you can select just the text boxes. Now I can freely move this around and change the color and I actually want to have the same effect as I did with the October label so I'll just paste another copy on top and change the color. So now I'm going to open Stixer because I have all of my elements saved and neatly organized here so I love this app. This set that you're seeing here is the notes widgets and you can actually download this for free when you share a photo of your Printstick planner on Instagram and you tag me. This one is not included with the wonderful planner bundle but I really like the colors, they look great on this planner. Now I'm going to open my word sticker set and this one is included in your wonderful planner bundles and it's going to be really easy to just tap and drag on a sticker and place it on my planner. So I'm just going to use a few of these stickers and start arranging them here. I'm going to now open my elements gallery so that I can bring in some of the elements to create my own widgets or little items. Here I'll create a checklist of things that need to get done this month and now I'm going to look for my trackers. I want this habit tracker just so that I can track my days. I want to duplicate this item and it's very easy. You just tap and hold on it and drag it so that you can create an exact copy. I'm just going to crop out the dots and actually this is too many dots so I'm going to get rid of the last one. I'm using this to add the colors that I'm going to be using on my tracker here. And for that I will be using my highlighter with different colors and just give each dot a different color. 
Now I'll add a text box so that I can enter what each of these dots is going to mean. And sometimes I just find it easier to type out the words. I'm just really fast with the keyboard. So I'm just writing down the other words here. I want to adjust the spacing so that the words match with the dots. I'll quickly go back to my stickers page so that I can copy this circle and give some color to this tracker. To finish this tracker, I'll just add a little word here. And again, remember to turn off your images from your lasso menu. And then I'm just going to adjust the text and place it on top of my tracker. I add a little color with my highlighter. And now I'm going to copy this label and add it to my other tracker on the right. Adjust the text. And I'll write get it done because here is where I'm going to track different exercises that I want to start doing every single day. That's my plan anyway. I duplicate this text box one more time and I just enter this little label on top here. Now I want to add the dates to my calendar. So I'm just checking my phone to see when October starts and I can see that it starts on a Friday. So I can tap and drag my dates onto the calendar, but if I do this method, then I have to resize and adjust the dates. And there's another method, which is using your lasso tool to make a selection on the dates and then copy them. And then when you paste them, they'll be sized perfectly. Now I'm going to move my dates so that the number one is on the Friday because that's when October starts. And I'm going to crop my image to remove the extra numbers. And I'm going to paste another copy of the dates and crop out the numbers that I already used. And as you'll see, they will align perfectly. It's actually very easy and quick to date an undated calendar this way. So my monthly spread is basically done. Now I will actually start entering the info that I need to have on this page. And I will create text boxes to add the different things I need to have here. And so the first element that I have to add to my monthly views is my payment dates. These are the same every single month and some of them I have been paying for years, but I can't afford to pay any late penalties. So I just write them on my calendar to make sure that I don't forget them. Once you have selected the text size and font and style that you like, you can go to this button and you can click on save as default and that will save the text style that you have created so that when you add a new text box, the text will be exactly the same as how you set it. Now I want to add some color dots to my labels just to kind of color code a little bit. So my finances or payments labels will have this blue color. And once I've added that, then I can copy these two elements together and simply update the text. I'm just going to continue entering the payments that I need to do this month. Another thing that I like adding to my monthly views is birthdays. So I'm going to use one of the birthday labels from the sticker set and it turns out that there are a ton of birthdays this month. So I'm just duplicating this sticker and I want these labels to be different. So what I do is I first change my dot and then I'm going to use my highlighter just to highlight the name of the person whose birthday it is. I'm adding just a couple more and don't think that I'm a robot that just knows all the birthdays. I did enter them to my yearly spread previously. So all I do is go back to my yearly page so that I can see which birthdays are happening this month. So now I'm just going to duplicate my birthday labels and add the rest of the names. Besides payment dues and birthdays, I also add special appointments and events that are happening this month or any other thing that I planned way back and I'm not necessarily going to remember unless I write it down here. And of course, this month there is Halloween, so I'm also adding a label for that. This is probably the most fun part where I will just add deco stickers to decorate my page. So I'm using my Halloween set and I do this at the very end just because I don't really want my stickers to take away important planning space. Now I'm adding my little Trianas because they are so cute. So 
So I have finished my monthly spread, but before we go, I need to show you how you can add your weekly and daily pages. This time it's going to work a little differently than how we added the monthly page. This time we will not export the page as an image because we have created our link that takes us to our October section, which means that we can add our weeks and days just as pages. So let's go to our four squares and tap on select. Then tap on the page that you want to copy. In this case, it's the weekly spread. Click on copy, done. Now we go to the location where we want to add this new page and that is going to be right after the October spread that we just created. Tap on this little arrow at the bottom to select add page after and paste page. Now you can fully use your lasso tool and you will not move the page. The blank dailies are located right after the blank weeks, so go and press on that button and just swipe left and you'll see the daily options available. Now we can copy the one that we want to use by tapping on the four squares again and I want to paste my dailies right after my weekly. So same as before, add page after and paste page. Once you have your daily in the position that you want it, you can also tap on this little arrow and this time click on duplicate and that will create an exact copy of this daily. You can duplicate these pages as many times as you need or if you want to switch up the colors, you can also paste a different color of a daily here. So the things that I add to my weeks are basically main events of each day. I also do add my meals, especially lunch and dinner. And these elements that you see here, including the stickers, come already in the Wonderful Planner bundle. And finally, on my dailies, I'll write out my daily schedule. So hour by hour, the things that I want to do. And since the right side is blank, you can really add anything you need. This could be notes from work. You could add widgets here. I personally just add this to-do list and I like it because I can make it as big or as small as I need it. And I also have boxes to add more detail of my meals. So that's it. I really hope that this video helps you get started with your planner right now. And if you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. I'm going to leave a link below to where you can get this planner. And if you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe and tap on the bell so you know when there's a new video out. If you have any questions, as usual, just drop me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.